Welcome to the tutorial video on 22.3. In this video, I'm going to talk about date and time in Harlow 3. Harlow provides four different macros for getting the current date and time. Current date, current time, month day, and weekday. The macro current date gives the current date from the player system clock as reported by their browser. So we see here the current date as I'm recording this is Monday, May 13th, 2019. The macro current time gives the current time from the player system clock as reported by their browser. And the current time as I record this is 9.21 p.m. The macro month day gives the current day within the current month from the player system clock as reported by the browser. The current day of the month is 13, which we know because we saw from earlier it's May 13th. The macro weekday gives the current day within the current week from the player system clock as reported by the browser. The current day of the month is Monday, which we already know. So what can we do with all of these? Well, we can test the current date, the current time, the month day, or the weekday and do something from that. So let me show you an example. To only allow content on a certain day of the week, for example, the use of the weekday macro could be used with an if macro. We can test to see if when this is currently running, if it is Monday. And that's what I've done. And we see the result right here. Today is Monday. Let's go look at the code for all of this. So coming over to current date first, we see the current date macro right here. Current time, current time macro, month day, month day macro, weekday, weekday macro. All very straightforward. We're using the macro and we're immediately seeing the result. Well, if we're working with these, as I mentioned, we can work with test four using the if macro to test to see if the current time is the current time or to test to see if the current day is something we want to do, act on in some way. And that's what this last passage does, working with dates. We see a test here. If weekday is Monday, and it is as of the current recording, we see today is Monday. If it wasn't, then it we would see run this again on another day as a if and else pairing here, the if macro and else macro. So this is an example of you working with dates. For example, if we wanted code that only ran on a certain day, or if it produced a certain result when run on a certain day, we could use these four functions to do that. Especially more month day and week day, getting a certain number or getting a certain day, and then acting on those in a certain way. For example, if we wanted something that could be run every day during the week and it produced a slightly different outcome each time, we could do that here. The same with testing across the month. If we wanted something to test to see if the player's current date within the month was a certain number, we could do that. Maybe it acts on something before the 15th or after the 15th, thinking of a normal month spread of about 31 days then we could do that here as well. In all of these cases though, we can act on the result of using these four macros to get the current date or the current time using all four macros of current date, current time, month day, or week day. That's four different examples within Harlow of working with dates and times. Thanks for watching.